Violent crime in the Western Cape continues unabated with gang-related murders and injuries almost every single day. The innocent, often women and children, caught in the crossfire, with 130 homicides recorded in the last week of September. Police Minister Begele is putting preventative measures in place, more boots on the ground in bringing back detectives who have left the police service. Senior reporter Aisha Ismail reports. Another day... Another gang-related murder may sound clichéd to some, but it's the reality of many living in the Cape Metro. A hundred and thirty people killed in one week. The reinforcement of policing intervention includes capacitation of the anti-gang unit and the broader detective capacity in the province, which is in line with the national program of re-enlistment of detectives back in the SEPs. Applications are there and the invitation is there to invite the, the detectives that have left the service. This is meant to bolster the detective service, which has been overburdened for years. 200 dockets per detective is not uncommon. The process is aimed at inviting um, those police officers that have left the service uh, through resignation and that left with a clean record. Uh, I must indicate that we have received in excess of about 2,600 applications so far, and the selection process is uh, underway, and we will be subjecting them to a psychometric test where we'll be testing their cognitive as well as their personalities, and we'll also be subjecting them to the fitness assessment, and we'll be going for the medical um, assessment. And once that process is finalized, then they'll be placed. And we are hoping that this process will be finalized before the end of this year. But crime analysts warn that fighting crime in the Western Cape is different to other provinces and that a one-size-fits-all approach cannot be applied. For years, police officers have been sent here to help fight crime, but it made very little to no difference in gang-infested areas. So, who do you bring in? You're going to have to go find people with that experience. There's one, get the numbers up, train more detectives to handle the volumes. But if you want to take down organized crime, you need to get the experienced people who are experienced in kind of serial crime related investigation, transversal investigation, syndicated crime, gang related, you need to get them back. Because what happens in that terrain generates the violence that we see in the street. He says when dealing with organized crime, you need a different type of detective and they have to be capacitated Otherwise, you are just going through the motions. We live in a society where there's such a thing like numbers gangs, criminal gangs, who, have a, who are the oldest criminal gangs in the history of the world, if you should put it that way. I mean, these guys are 200 years old. They've sustained their existence. They haven't changed their business model. They operate on the same way and they run things outside. There you're dealing with the breaking of almost a cult, a criminal cult that has been in existence, that continues to produce leadership, produce hitmen, produce direction and control outside. The knowledge to investigate them requires a specialized understanding. He adds the anti-gang unit must be treated like a proper unit and not like a temporary task team. Aisha Ismail, Cape Town.